channel. So today I have a really, really exciting video for you guys. I have been shopping on Everything Five Pounds again because you guys really, really enjoyed the Everything Five Pounds haul that I did, which was my first shop with Everything Five Pounds. And I must say, it was absolutely brilliant. So I thought, you know what, let's give it another go. And instead of getting normal things, let's go a little bit crazy and let's have a look to see what unique things that they actually have on their website. So some of this stuff that is going to be in this giant box here, as you can probably see just off camera, is stuff that you probably wouldn't find all over the place. It's not really your regular sort of clothing, let's just put that out there. So some of it is a bit more eccentric than normal. Okay, let, let's, let's just go with it. Some of it's a little bit wacky. So I went on the website and thought, that's odd, I'll buy that. That's a bit strange, let's buy that. So uh, today we have some weird, wacky, wonderful, unique clothing for you from everything five pounds. So if you are brand new here and you have never seen my face before, hi, I'm Leah, welcome to the channel. Do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But for now, let's see what's in this giant box right here and get into the video. I need my scissors, so they're gonna oh, go to the box. This is the box. It's huge. I can't pick it off. It's so big. <laughs> oh my lord. This is the box. <laughs> so, I have a very giant box here and it's got lots of things in it. Um, the reason why it's so giant is there isn't just one haul in here. Oh, as you can tell, I'm everything five pounds up. Check my makeup. Cheeky little secret, sneak preview. Well, it's not sneak preview, really. Um, I've got two hauls in here. Two hauls from everything five pounds. So you're gonna get one this week and you're going to get one next week because that's how I roll. I haven't just been shopping for one video. I was shopping for two. So I will leave the shoes in here. I'm not going to show them on this video because that will be coming on next week's video. I'm just gonna do the clothes for you. So let's get into this box and see what we have got. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I'm in. Okay, so the box is open. Let's see what we've got. Mm. Actually, let's put this down first because I can't show you it with the box on my knee. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Ignore me, I'm really excited. Really, really excited. Stupidly excited. Right, now let's get into the box. Right, so the first thing, is not in a bag at all. And, uh, <laughs> like I said, some uh, odd clothing outfits in these. So this I got in a medium, which was a 10 to 12, and it's in coral. And I think it is a jacket that has a nice long bit here. So that is the top of the jacket. It is uh, sleeveless or maybe cap sleeves. And it's got a lovely, lovely neck to it. And then it's got the but it's got the zip here, and then it's got this really long bit. So I don't know how that is going to work. I mean, the back, I didn't realise that that was the back. So it's got slits on the back. Um, what I will say is it's really odd, but it feels like quite soft material. Um, I don't. Oh, it is stretchy, so it's got a bit of stretch in it. So that's always handy. I mean, when I was actually looking for it, there was like, there was a size 10 to 12, and I'm a 12 UK size. There was a 10 to 12, and then there was a 14 to 16. And I thought, well, I'm definitely not 14 to 16, it's gonna be massive, so let's go for the 10 to 12. I don't have to do it up, I can leave it undone, so. But yeah, that's um, gonna be really interesting, I think. So let's get it tried on and see what it looks like. Guys, look, I've got room. Maybe I'm a medium. Yay! <laughs> so uh, this is the, um, jacket thing on with the floaty bit and I must say I, I kind of like it it is really soft on it's very soft actually you can't really tell you've got it on which is really nice I think it's like it's almost like business in the top party in the bottom if you know what I mean but it's one of those jackets that like I have no idea where you'd wear it I don't know if you'd wear it over a little wrap dress if you wear it with your jeans and some trousers jeans and trousers, jeans and shoes. I just, I have no idea how you would wear it. So literally I've got my leggings on 
and I've got the top on and it looks okay. Um, that's the back of it, so I'll just show you the back, um, which is a bit odd. I think it would have been a lot nicer if the back was just plain, so you literally could just be business in the top. I like this bit, I think that's really cool. I don't know about this bit, it's, um, I don't know, but I don't like, I'm not keen on the back. Let's just say I'm not keen on the back. That is a little bit wacky for me, little. You can tell I've been speaking to the dog all day. But yeah, I'm surprised how it fits. So I'm a UK 12, this is a medium, fits really well. If I'd have gone for the large, it would have been far too big. It feels soft on, feels nice on, but it's just, it's the whole, yeah, I think if the jacket actually came down to here and it was just a through zip jacket with no sleeves, onto a winner, onto a winner with that. It's like one of those photo shoot things where you've got like your hair out and you just like pop your leg and you're a bit like, ah, oh. do you know what I mean? Like, yes, wee, yes, <laughs> kind of photo shoot things. I don't know, I've not done photo shoots for ages. Interesting, <laughs> let's put it that way, interesting. But if you think you can rock this, I would love to see pictures of you guys in this. So send them through me and tag me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and I will definitely have a look because I don't think that I could rock this. Right, the next one. I'm not gonna look because some of these are just out of packages and I'm like, whoa. Right, okay. So I got this in a small, which is 10 to 12, because I thought, it's oversized anyway. This is really interesting on the website. This is like, <laughs> how do I describe it? I can see it in my mind now. It's like a really, really, really long oversized baggy dress. That's all, that's all I can describe it as. And I saw it and I was like, hmm, I need to try this on just for giggles. So this is the dress. As you can see, it is very oversized. It has buttons on the sleeve there, which they're not real buttons, they're just sewn on real buttons. You can't undo them, they are literally just sewn on. So that's them, they're the sleeves. The sleeves are a little bit massive. Um, as we go down the dress, it is literally just a giant check dress. I don't know what I'm gonna make of this on. I'm probably going to look like a giant blanket. <laughs> I'm really apprehensive about this one, but I need to show you guys. So I'm gonna try it on and uh, see if I look like a giant blanket. What is this? No. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm a blanket. Um, yes, I do have my leggings on underneath it still. And I don't know how I feel about this. This is, it reminds me of like, you know when you go to a spa or a hospital and you get your hospital gown or like your little spa gown so you can walk around in it. Um, it reminds me of that. It's, it's not flattering at all. Um, the buttons are cool, the buttons are cool. And I do like the sleeves, but that's about it. I think if you got a belt, and you cinched it in, it might look a bit better, but then you look like you're wearing a toga and going off to a, uh, a Roman party or a Greek party, looking all funky in your toga. It's got splits here, Woohoo. It's one of those that if you're gonna wear it, you, you've got to really, really suit it. It's like that hippie vibe kind of thing. Um, you could probably get away with it on holiday, so like on vacation, but it just dies. It's like, what is this? <laughs> like really? I, I feel like a giant blanket. And it's kind of comfortable, the arms are a bit weird from the buttons because you can't undo them or take them off. And there's a hole there. So I don't know why they didn't give you the option to like take the button off and roll your sleeve up. But the buttons feel a bit odd and they're a bit scratchy. But yeah, I just feel like I'm a giant sort of cool kind of blanket type thing. The boat's not anything special either, it just, it is what it is, but yeah, if you're looking for a toga, going for the next one. And it's in a bag. Cool. What's this? I say that about everything. I'm like, what is it? You guys must just sit there thinking, well, we can just open it and have a look, Leo. Come on. So. Oh. Okay, I forgot I got this. <laughs> oh 
oh my god, this is one of those things where you see it and you think that would be really funny to try on, but then you try it on and you think, oh actually that's quite nice. <laughs> it is a leather, <laughs> leather look vest top. So here is the leather look vest top and I got it in burgundy. And the size was medium to large, so hopefully I'll be able to fit my assets in that, if you know what I mean. Um, it's actually like, it's a leather look, but it's not like leathery material, it's just like shiny. It's odd. Um, so that's that, the back is, oh, okay, so the back is like a chiffon which you can kind of see through. <laughs> if you're wearing black bras, ladies, you will see them. But yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So, uh, kind of feel like I need to try my pleather pants with this. Um, if you've not seen me in my pleather pants, it was actually from a wish haul, so I will link that above for you. But yeah, so, uh, oh, it's got a little pocket there as well. I didn't realize the pocket was real. I thought it was not real. There. Um, but yeah, let's try it on and see what it looks like. So, this is the Level Look vest top and <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. I'm kind of a fan. I am actually kind of a fan of this. Um, I don't know why, but it makes me look a bit slimmer here, which is weird. Yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, it's really soft. I don't know if you can actually see my bra through there. I mean, I don't, it's here. I don't know if you can, because I can't see in the mirror. I'm guessing you probably can. Um, it is a little bit tight around the back bottom there. There's not really much stretch there, but other than that, I think it's kind of nice. It's just, yeah, I didn't think that I would actually like this, but there is a bit of stretch to it, not a huge amount. I mean, the, the straps are like fair enough, really. I mean, I hate the fact that like when I wear tops, sometimes they just gape a bit there, but I think that's the whole thing of having like boobs, don't know. Yeah, overall, kind of like this. It's a, it's a thumbs up for me, even though it's a bit of a weird product and I don't know where I'd wear it. It's uh, yeah, definitely. I do actually really like it. Delving in, delving in. Car. Oh, I actually thought that this might look quite cute. This is the only one that I kind of remember getting. So, do, 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 do. Oh, that feels odd. Right. This I got in a size large because it is supposed to be. Oh, it is. Got a little bit of stretch there, that's nice. Like an off-the-shoulder blousey type thing. So it's got the off-the-shoulder, it's got really, really nice detail in there. I absolutely love that colour, it's beautiful. And on the sleeves, it is cut out here, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, <laughs> I think it was my eBay haul. I actually had something that was like a cold shoulder top and it looked really horrendous on me. Well, I didn't like it on me anyway. I'll link that above so you can go and have a look. But I didn't like it anyway. So these must tie into a bow and look super, super cute. So it's got cuffs around the arms there, and then it is literally just like a regular blousy type thing there. I'm hoping that's gonna look really nice because I was like, it's really weird because it's off the shoulder, it's got a collar, it's got the cold shoulders on it, but then again, I thought this would be really, really cute. So uh, let's get it tried on and see if it is as cute as I hope it's going to be. So what do we think? Um, I will say this is the issue that I have with blouses. It gapes there so much. This is why I just don't wear blouses that need buttoning up at the front. Other than that, I will say it is so, so cute. Oh my God, it is so, so cute. So, this was a large, and I'm actually surprised that it seems a bit smaller than a large. I would normally think that a large is like 12, 14. That's kind of how I go with it. Um, this is quite tight here, so I've got a bit of a gap there. I could actually do with undoing this button. It's gaping here, which is no surprise because all shirts do that with me because I have the large bosom. But it gives you a very, very nice waist. It's very, very cute. You can see through it, so I'm actually wearing a pink bra and you can kind of see that I'm wearing a pink bra, so you'd have to be nude. But I do love these, they're so cute. I mean, the sleeves, that is a little bit tight. It's not elasticated, but Around here, you've got elastic on the shoulders. Ever so slight little bit, but it just hugs your shoulder. So if you kind of like, do a little wiggle, get your wig on, it, it magically stays where it should, which is brilliant, that's what we want. So the back is just, that's the back there. 
So I actually think that this collar is absolutely amazing. It's so gorgeous. It is literally just too tight here and the gaping here. I couldn't do it without wearing like another top underneath it. And with this kind of shirt, you actually need to do it all the way up to get the effect of it. I just wish that it wasn't so tight here and it didn't gape as much there. That's the thing that makes me really, really conscious when I go out in public. So I'm not one of those that goes out and I'm just like, yeah, hands down here, hands behind my back. I move when I'm out and about. And I have been in situations before where I've actually been wearing a shirt like this. I was at work, let's just put it that way. And I've been moving around, I've been moving stock, whatever else, and all of a sudden I've been like, and I've not noticed and he's been so 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 embarrassing so um, I'm very very wary of shirts like this if you do have smaller boobs you should definitely be able to rock this or if you wear something underneath it definitely be able to rock it because this is absolutely super duper cute oh my god with a white skirt or like white denim shorts oh my god that would be amazing right the next one next one next one this is, ew, I might like this, because it's got sparkly bits on it, mm, sparkle, oh, ho, ho, whoa, this is soft, so, you know people that like really, really fluffy stuff, this is a really, really fluffy and sparkly jumper, and I think I'm a bit in love with this, this is so soft, guys, this is like, if you could reach out, and touch this jumper through the camera, wow, you, you would just sit there stroking for ages. This is just, oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> anyway, this jumper I actually got in a, what size are you? What size are you? I don't know what size I got it in. Where's the size? Don't know, might be on, was it in a packet? Yes, might be on the packaging. Oh, it was one size. So this is in the size eight to 12, right? So you only get it in one size and that's the jumper, so um, it's got short sleeves, it's got a bit of a, a boat neck to it, so we hope that's going to be nice. It looks like the short sleeves are slightly, not bat wing, but they're supposed to be like a little bit bigger. So uh, I think we're going to have to try that on and see what it's like. Do kind of like it, the only issue I have with this is it's not long enough. Um, so if it was sort of here, I think I would like it a bit more, but it's not, it kind of... If you shimmy around, it sits about here and it's not kind of my area for things to sit. Um, I do really like it, it's very very soft, other than obviously where they've got all the sparkly bits there and on the sleeves, that's actually quite itchy, so if you have sequin itch or sparkle itch, definitely not the kind of thing for you because it will completely itch you. Other than that, it is quite a nice sweater, I actually do kind of like it. I like that the stripes are all different colours. It's quite fally, quite wintry, so that's quite cool. But honestly, these are really itchy. I don't really suffer from that sequin or sparkle itch, but it's really, really itching me. But other than that, it's really soft, and it's just, it's warm as well. It's one of those sweaters that you kind of, you put on and you just think, this is nice. As long as I've got the heat and a bit on or it's warm where I'm going, I don't really need to have anything else over rather than maybe a light jacket. And I will say that it is true to size as well, so definitely true to size. What's this? Large. So I've got this in a large, so it's 12.14. So. Oh, I think I know what this is. That's surprisingly heavy and bulky. Wow, okay. Ew. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. So yes, I think it's cropped. I think with my boobs in it, it's going to be a bit cropped anyway. Um, but it's got these really fancy frill details on the arm here. And it literally goes all the way down the jumper. And it's got, where's the, oh, that's odd. Literally all the way to the sleeve. So like the cuff is part the ruffle and then part not the ruffle. Oh wow, that's that's weird. It is really soft actually. It's heavy, but it's really, really soft. So I actually quite like it. I don't know if it's gonna suit me because of how cropped it is and I don't really do cropped things. I don't think it's gonna be cropped cropped, but it's gonna be like just past the belly button, I think. So I think I might struggle with that a little bit, but it is soft, it's a nice colour, and I am ready to give it a go. Okay, so this one. I don't really know what to think. The arms feel weird because where it falls here, it's actually sewn with the, 
what's it so you've got the cuff there and then you've got like a gap there which is really really strange um got splits here so it's drafty i'm glad that i've got a t-shirt on underneath it um it's i would say it's true to size it's a large so it's true to size i i don't get the ruffles though. <laughs> they're a bit weird i'm looking in the mirror and i'm like if it didn't have the ruffles on it, it would just be like a nice cropped kind of jumper that you could just throw on and slouch around in the house but um it is big it's very oversized i can probably get another one of me in here if the neck was a little bit bigger but uh, the, the frills the frills guys this is not doing anything for the jumper at all yeah no it really isn't i think if they were like stitched on like this it would probably look really really different and it would probably look really nice but i'm not i'm not feeling the vibes i think this part of the jumper this part of the sweater is slouchy and very casual this part is not this part's more sort of fashiony and sort of going outy kind of thing and i don't think it really works so it is very soft this feels weird that that feels weird but yeah it is it is very soft but that's probably about the only thing other than how nice it would be without the frills that i like about it so <laughs> bit weird no <laughs> Okay, so I can't do them, because they're for my other one. Haha! <laughs> so I can do... Oh! <laughs> I showed down the picture of this, and oh my god, he was like, what on earth is that? So, I got this in, it's one size, so it's an eight fold. So, I'm fingers crossing this one, because I don't think it's going to be stretchy. Um, getting it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the jumper. It's got weird bubbly things on it. Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh my god, I'm static already. Oh, this is going to be the most static jumper in the world. I mean, wow. <laughs> my hair's going to be everywhere. Oh my god gonna be like foam over here in a minute anyway so the sleeves are really nice and long actually or maybe that's just me being weird yeah <laughs> it's really soft I will give it that it's really really soft there is a little pull in it here already and I've only just opened it so it's gonna be one of those sweaters that will probably pull very very easily it's heavy I will say it's very very heavy and um, it's got this neck here which is a slightly high neck um, I think again it's probably going to be just down to hip length just over belly button if you know what I mean that's just really interesting and I can't wait to try this on and see what it looks like so I, let's just say I don't really have that high hopes for it but it could be another one that's going to surprise me this jumper is so so soft on it's unreal but it feels really odd. It feels like, I don't know, because these things aren't like sewn on bubbles, it's actually like the material has just got things in it, like little pokey holes. It's really, really weird. I mean, it is a bit short for me. I don't really like jumpers being here. I prefer them being a bit low. And this neck doesn't do anything for me, I don't think. I think overall, it's a really strange sweater. It's really, really odd. I know I keep saying jumpers instead of sweaters for you guys in America. Um, I will apologise, but because I'm British, a jumper is a sweater, so that's why I keep saying it because I'm so used to saying it. It is so staticky as well. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know. My hair is just like trying to. Um. I don't think I can pull this off at all, but if you can pull things like this off, brilliant, go for it. But it's actually, weirdly enough, making my arms really cold because it's like, it's just weird, but it is making my arms really, really cold. Um, <laughs> not for me, very strange, feels odd on, but is really soft. It is true to size as well, I will say, very true to size. Um, I don't think it's for me though, but it's 
it's odd and that's what I was looking for so yeah not really my kind of thing but very soft oh god my hair is so static oh my lord try and get rid of the static you know right so I'm gonna see how many I've got left because that seems like a lot and I'm sure that's everything that I got but I can't actually remember oh no I've got one more okay right oh oh I'm losing my box oh, oh it's so heavy right Yes, I should have had two more, but unfortunately, one of the items that I ordered went out of stock, so I didn't order it for next day delivery. I actually did the three to five day shipping, and when they came to actually pick the order, they said that the item was out of stock. So I think because other people had put in orders before me, the stock may have run out before mine went to get picked, but I would have thought with the picking process that they'd have like a system that kind of sort of says, oh, that one's for that person, that one's for that person, but I don't know, maybe if people put in rush orders, then the orders that are like three to five days are pushed down the queue, and if something goes out of stock because the next day delivery person wants it, then they get it, and then the three to five days person doesn't get it. I don't know, all these companies work in really different ways, but yes, so there's one item that I didn't get and I got refunded for. So, I got this in a size 12, and I think this is a dress. I need my scissors. Giggles! Tear along. How can you tear along a perforation when there isn't a perforation there, you fool? It should be a dress. Where's the dress bit? Hang on. Wait, wait, I found a strap. Right. Oh, golly gosh, I didn't know it'd be like this. Holy moly! Right. <laughs> okay, so this dress has got straps on it here which I can already tell the straps are going to be far too long so you've got your booby bits and then down here you've got the splits but the splits go all the way up to just under your bust so can I get the front panel where's the front panel let's move the uh, the <laughs> flaps that covers your lady bits um, there is obviously a try yoni bit there. There we go, which hasn't actually got the um, protective do-free what's it's in it. So um, I'm a little bit worried about trying that on. Before I try it on, I am actually going to take pictures of that because normally they should have like a sticky thing in there, which prevents any, I don't know. It's like a hygiene strip. Hygiene strip, that's the word, it's hygiene strip. That they normally put in there like a hygiene sticker. There isn't one, so if this looks horrendous and I'm never going to wear it because let's face it I'm very pale and this is yellow I will if they say anything to me then I'll be able to get back and say I received it without any hygiene strips on so I will do that but I honestly I think these straps are just going to be far too big because they're not alterable either so you can't alter them and I think the weight of the dress has just stretched them quite a lot so um yeah we'll get that tried on and uh See what it's like, see what these splits are uh, are up to. Well, we know where they're up to, but uh, yeah, let's just, let's stop me being, trying to be witty and just try the dress on. Let's uh, flip my flap. <laughs> oh, this is really horrid. This must be what a baby feels like. So guys, this is the dress and do you know what, I kind of like it. Um, I've kept my bra on because as I suspected, these, are just so loose it is ridiculous so I've left my bra on the little doobie what's it underneath is not made for people that have long bodies or that are tall so it's actually pulling these down um, and to please excuse my bra if you can have a look at the side I don't actually think it's made for you wearing a bra um, it's so low at the back so low at the back and I will say the splits are so high that there is this little body underneath it but I've had to leave my leggings on for two reasons the first reason there's no hygiene strip in this so with all things that sort of sit down there I would expect a hygiene strip and there wasn't one so I'm, I'm not putting that on without something between my knickers and the actual suit itself so I'm being super cautious there it's riding up my butt a little bit so it's um pulling these down riding up my butt and i think if you're not super super slender you're going to be sort of like flashing everything all over the place 
So uh, the splits do go all the way up the side. It does feel really nice on, but it is so see-through, it is unbelievable. And as I'm speaking to you, it is constantly just falling down. Um, so I'm not going to put you through any more pain. It is a nice dress. The straps are far too big. The underbody thing is far too tight for someone that is tall and has a longer body. Um, it's a nice length though, I will say it is a nice length, but wow, how could anyone go out in public in this? You'd literally like have to wear it to like a dance thing, wouldn't you? You'd just buy it because you're doing a dance thing at school and you'll be wearing like leggings underneath it and like, yes! I, okay, my boobs are falling out, right. Time to take this off, but this is a, if you're slim and slender and can rock it and not wear a bra and stick everything together, brilliant. Um, if you're confident, brilliant. For me, no, <laughs> definitely not, not with the splits this high. Wow, I didn't realise it'd be this high, but damn. Okay, right, let's, let's take this off. So that is everything for my haul today guys, I hope you really really enjoyed looking at the clothing that I got from Everything £5, I promise that the shoes will be in the next video, otherwise this video is going to be like an hour and a half long, so you have to wait for next week for my next video with all the shoes, but that was all the clothes that I actually got, please please in the comments down below let me know which things that you thought were absolutely brilliant and you would love for yourself because they're really unique. And which ones you thought were a complete and utter fail and shouldn't, you know, the, the designer just didn't know what they were up to when they designed it. So definitely leave a comment down below. It'd be really, really cool just to actually read your comments and see what you thought. So if you did like this video, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you are brand new to my channel, do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!